The approach of the current government is similar to the previous one. Many restrictions remain in place, including a ban on non-essential travel between all regions and the nationwide 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew and the so-called tiered system of red, orange and yellow zones. That one too will remain in place. Health officials, as you pointed out, Isabel, are quite concerned about a new surge of COVID-19 cases. That's why additional restrictions have been imposed by regional authorities due to localized outbreaks mainly caused by the so-called English variant which accounts for nearly half of the total of new infections but also by the Brazilian and the South African variant. The scientific committee Isabel that works alongside the government will meet in the next few hours to discuss the introduction of further restrictions that could come into effect from mid-March. There are several options on the table including the possibility to introduce a full nationwide lockdown that could last up to three weeks. Now, according to experts, it's a necessary measure to contain the spread of the virus. Hospitals here, many hospitals in several regions have reached 30% of ICU capacity, which is the alarm threshold set by Italy's health uh, ministry, but also to make the vaccination campaign more effective. Isabel? And Georgia, as we speak today, Italy is marking uh, one year since it became the first European country to enter lockdown. How are Italians basically feeling as they see no real end to the end of restrictions and lockdowns and this pandemic? Well, Isabel, people over here are uh, very much frustrated, in particular uh, business owners, restaurants owners. They hoped that uh, uh, with the latest measures they will be able to reopen. But as a result of those restrictions, nearly half of uh, um, restaurants over here will remain closed. And the situation is very difficult, Isabel, in particular in those areas that have been declared a red zone for months where restaurants have not been able to reopen at all. That's why they urged the government to speed up the vaccination campaign to restart the country's economy.